Yo, what's going on, D-Squad? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we finally got the interview with one of the people who work with Lifeboat. So if you guys do want to see more videos like this where I deep dive into servers and their issues that they have, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me show that you guys do want to see more of this and it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Who are you? What's your position? And how long have you been working with Lifeboat? Um, yeah, so I, uh, well, I'm a developer, so, um, I've been working with Lifeboat since, uh, um, the end of 2015 or beginning of 2016. Um, so yeah, just started out as, as a, um, remote contract worker and, and, uh, yeah, started doing it full time. Okay, so you would... You, you were started to work with Lifeboat back when a lot of people refer to as Lifeboat's golden days whenever they were booming with their survival games. Yep, correct. And uh, yeah, for a couple years there, I was the only developer, um, or the only one working on the network. Um, so yeah, 2016-ish. Uh, yeah, there's a couple other um, part-time workers, but yeah, the, the height of... Uh, player counts and all that stuff yeah okay in comparison to other featured servers do you think lifeboat matches their quality um not right now no um but we got a lot of things in the works that uh we're doing but yeah definitely um gameplay wise smoothness um connectivity uh some of that's not up to par that, that we want it to be so uh yeah i would say no and i'd say better than some unfortunately but yeah okay so what makes the server laggy right now even if you do have good game? um yeah sure uh we so yes the um uh, obviously uh, normally there's a lot of uh, uh factors that go into um lag or the feeling of lag and uh but yes if you have good ping um i would say uh, a couple of a couple of things could be happening um one is you could be playing on our old server software which is really really bad uh, uh, we we held on to that for a long time but uh, we are in the process of switching over uh, to new server software. Uh, so if you are playing a game that's on um, the new server software, the performance of that is a ton better. However, there are we are still working out some kinks in um, uh, some other areas uh, like uh, communication with the, the proxy. Um, there's been some, some complicated bugs that we're working through right now with that. Um, and then there's other things like you'll notice if a lot of people are joining at once um, there's a lot of things going on in the background um, that'll hold up the game server itself um, and we're refactoring a bunch of things with that like um, how we originally get players information interactions with apis and outside databases and all that um, so yeah we're we're changing a lot of things with the infrastructure right now but um, if you got good ping and you're still feeling a some things then uh, it's probably one of those issues okay what do you think makes lifeboat stand out from the other servers in a good way um well right now we do um uh we do we are working on or i mean we do have a, a pretty wide range of games that um, players can play um there are we're redoing um like i said before we are we are working on a new, uh, moving over to completely new server software. So that's been a, um, a huge rewrite and it's delayed. Uh, so we're moving and improving a bunch of our games over to that. Um, but yeah, so it's got a uh, variety, I would say. Um, we're improving a bunch of things with, with PVP and, and all that, but, um, and it's since we're, we've been moving over, it hasn't been, so much the case but um we do 
we have in the past uh, like to try to do new game types um, try new and um, unique things that no one's tried and sometimes they they pan out but sometimes they don't so yeah I'd say that okay <clears throat> all right so how has creators making negative videos about the server affected the server and I guess what the staff feel about the server um well it's so I'd say right now um we're in a so the last couple years or at least two two and a half years um it's been pretty uh pretty hard to get uh, enough resources and um developers uh to make the progress that we want to make so uh i mean obviously we we see any negative feedback coming in um and and we try to address it the best we can uh, sometimes it looks like we're ignoring it but uh it's it's a lot of it's just a matter of time and resources um if it's right now we got a really good we got we've been able to hire a bunch of, of developers and um, so we're right now in the last couple of months we're just at the the point where we can make some good progress but um, so yes it might look like we're ignoring but it's I mean think of it as a box or a rectangle if you fill it 90 to 95 percent if we only got one or two uh, developers that are able to put some time towards it it takes 90 percent of the time just to keep the the network running as is so it's hard to improve on a lot of things we want to improve on because uh, microsoft's putting out updates every almost every month now and, and beta is almost every week so uh, just to keep up with all the changes all the protocol changes um keeping everything up and running uh it's hard to um Obviously, we see the feedback coming in, but it's hard to make progress with it when when you're struggling on resources. But okay, what do you think the turning point for the server was? Whenever I guess the the survival games era died and people started not playing the server as much. Um, <clears throat> there are quite a bit of factors. Um, so uh, I'm not. 100% I can't recollect the the the, uh, the timeline perfectly but um, there was before the partnership program that Minecraft had or has now which which all of our us partner servers are part of um, there was about a, a year or two before that things started getting dicey with um, not, not necessarily player count but a bunch of things that um, we that were restricted for um, as far as monetization goes uh, we weren't uh, um, it was I mean we didn't honestly for a while there it was who knows if we'll have a server in the next couple months so um, it was and then yeah with the resources it was we were trying a bunch of bunch of new things um i'd say that's why a lot back then um a lot of what we were doing was received as, as controversial and um but we were just trying a bunch of different things to see if anything stuck as far as um monetization and um so yeah uh, though player count didn't really go down until the actual partner program because um xbox live accounts were were then uh enforced um and that kind of peeled back a lot of the players but okay what were the original thoughts and plans for the server whenever they first set out do you happen to have i guess their mission statement their or their current goals now um well so the um, you know, originally, I would have to, to look back on, on some of that stuff, but, um, and then a couple years there, we were just hanging on, but, uh, I'd say for right now, uh, 
the the uh, moving forward and, and what we want to do is um, now that we have a team of developers built up and the resources to move the needle quicker on things we're we're really trying to emphasize quality over quantity now uh, fixing a lot of these connectivity and and uh, um, proxy bugs so there's smooth gameplay good player experience and and uh, yeah quality over over quantity um, and we got some big um, we'll be testing in the next month or so some big infrastructure changes um, I mean right now we do have we do have servers in Europe and Asia um, there's no no way that the player can switch between the two um, from within the server but um, it does its best to to route people in that location so but there's a lot of the, that stuff um, coming up um, so yeah I mean as far as saying it it's uh, that's what we want to do but but uh, yeah I think we'll get to the point where uh, that'll be a reality and we can prove it okay now this next question kind of dives deeper into an issue that uh, another YouTuber brought up in a video several months ago and Lifeboat did change the policy shortly after, but why did Lifeboat originally have an anti-LGBTQ discussion policy and what really made Lifeboat correct this issue? Um, honestly, I don't even know about that policy. Um, was that a Discord thing? Uh, I believe it was Discord and on the server. From what I could recall. Like chat in the server? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we don't... We send every uh, chat message to Microsoft and they do all the filtering. We don't um, do any additional filtering on, like, uh, that that subject. Um, as And as far as Discord, I'm not really active on there. But I think, uh, for the most part, we... we um, as a company, you just want to um, end as a, a, a server that um, children play on. Uh, we just want to steer clear of any, uh, um, any, yeah, I guess, not that we want to steer clear of subjects. We just, I, I, and honestly, I don't know what the policy was before or what it was changed to. Um, <clears throat> but, it, yeah, I mean, we just want to stay as neutral okay it's possible i think yeah yeah okay and the, the final question is pretty much what are the plans for the server going forward you've mentioned that there is a new server software in the works um so could you i guess discuss a little bit more about that and in, any other plans you're able to share um <clears throat> yeah yeah for sure um so y there is well the the, the main thing right now is getting getting all the games over to the new server software uh, so we can because right now it's kind of uh, we have to uh, get the proxy needs to work with with both the old server software and the new one um, so there's a bunch of things when all the game servers are switched over to the new software we want to change a bunch of stuff with the proxy um, uh, which will resolve bunch of issues so number one is to get all the games switched over um, and then uh, in the works right now uh, we're improving anti-cheats um, within the last week we did a bunch of stuff to prevent spam and um, um, duping in in survival mode and we got other speed fly and other anti-cheats in the works um, we're doing reworking our matchmaker system um, so hopefully there are, there's some issues with, with joining matches at, at times. Um, we want to finish and complete the, the friend and party system, make it easier to move server to server and game match to match with, with your friends. Uh, we're redoing stats. Uh, and then we got, uh, got some, um, Skyblock, uh, Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be in, in some sort of public beta, a complete, complete redo of Skyblock uh, with a bunch of, um, well, fixes, but a bunch of new stuff too. Um, and then uh, there's a game mode that's in the works that we um, can't discuss right now, but, and then uh, 
survival mode in the next couple weeks will be coming out with with an with another update um so yeah th those are some of the things but awesome all right well I, again i do appreciate you setting up the time to do this interview and help answer some of these questions uh and i really do wish the best for lipo in the future and thanks again Alrighty guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. The next servers we're probably going to be looking into are either going to be Cubecraft or Galaxite. Now both of these servers are very, very amazing. They're probably one of the three best servers out of the hive and those two. So leave a comment with which server I should review first. And thank you guys yet again for showing the support on this server review series. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and bye bye.